right, so I went out and got the Harbor Freight chipper shredder. I saw this on one of Jake Mace's videos and I've been researching uh, wood chippers for a while because I got to cut down some trees. I got a lot of scraps, so I like to make my own wood chips. This only takes about an inch and a half branch, but that's okay. So I'm going to unbox this guy for you right now so you can see what we're dealing with. <clears throat> so here it is. We've got the chipper. A little push stick. Some wheels, a bag, which is cool, a bar for something, and then the instructions. So I'm going to put this together, and I'm going to use it to chop up some, some wood, and we'll show you the process, see how good it works. All right, so I'm putting this chipper shredder together. You know, there's a, the first thing's very simple. You just on the bottom here, there's this little base. It just pushes in these these two holes at the bottom here. So first, you push this base in. It looks like there's screw holes to attach it to secure it in there. So, I'm sure they give you the hardware. I'm gonna put that in first. Wheels, screws. So it looks like we just use these two little screws. Um, the wheels have to. Oh, here's here we go. Here's the here's the bar that the wheels roll on. So these are the two little screws for the bottom legs. I'll just place them in there now, get a screwdriver, put them in. Okay. The bar goes on the back. Take out these little pins. One of them. So I'm not using the last bushing. Put the pin in there, give it a bend. There we go. Easy peasy. Something else in here. Oh, it looks like these are the blades. So this basically acts as a big garbage disposal. There's these, these blades that, that they go at the bottom. When you open this thing up. This is an extra set of blades, which is nice. So this just spins like a garbage disposal when you throw the chips down that shoots them out the bottom. So it's a small one. I know I'm gonna get a bigger one later, but I it's nice to have these uh, replacement blades. I wish they had a little area that you could put them inside the unit. All right. On the back here, we have the on-off switch, and we have a breaker when it, if, it, if it loses power. So. Here's a little plug covered by a protector. Two prong plug. So let me get a screwdriver, uh, drop these screws in, and we're gonna test this out. All right, so I have this small pile of carob clippings. I just went through them and kind of broke off most of the little branches to make these somewhat straight. Fire it up and we'll try a couple of these. So these are pretty thin ones. I'm just going to start with some thin ones.
Give us, oh wow. Yeah, that's really Oh good. yeah, this is great. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's good material. Feed the trees with our trees. <laughs> Put this oh, everywhere. That's great. <laughs> All right, so I got a little uh, distracted by a few friends stopping by. My neighbor came by and uh, my other friend came by and it's really cool to see uh, see people's reactions when they're seeing what I'm doing because most of the time people are like, are you sure that's gonna grow here? And these two guys, uh, they're not asking me that question because they know uh, some crazy things can happen when you really, really uh, treat a plant like um, part of the family. But anyways, <laughs> I get that question all the time. Are you sure it's gonna grow here? I was thinking to myself like, well, if I say no, <laughs> it's like, I mean, I'm not necessarily sure. I've just seen the examples of these other guys doing it. So I'm gonna try, but uh, am I sure? Actually, I think I am pretty sure because these guys are doing it. And I'm, look at this, pair of wood chips from my clippings already. I already got, you know, not that much, but this little pile is making wood chips, so. Recycle your yard back into your yard. All right, I actually jammed it this time. <laughs> Before I get in there, I'm gonna unplug this. I don't want that to eat me up. There she is. Big boy.